everybody, this is Kim from Key Diamond Paints and I'm very excited. I have my second diamond painting in my five part series centered around creating and altering images to make your own custom diamond paintings. This one, this is opened as you can see. This came with another diamond painting. If you saw the beautiful photo equals beautiful diamond painting that came out of here. So that was the first one to come out of here. And that one was for a friend, but this one is mine. So I'm very excited to get into this. The box is a little beaten up, but I think the contents are pretty good. Here, this is a big one. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't purchased a diamond painting this big in a while. So here we go with the diamond painting. It looks though, if you can see, let me see if we can go along the whole length. Look at that. The box was crushed, but I don't see. It's pretty smooth. That's good news. And here we go. Hi. This is me jumping in from the future. I've been having a certain kind of luck lately, and I really wanted this series to be such a positive, um, inspirational series to help you create your own artwork. And, you know, for much less money, you would have an original piece that you created that was meaningful to you. And I don't want this in any way to discourage you from that. <laughs> Look at these and say, wow, I don't want any of the problems that she's having. But honestly, up until this series, I have had no problems, nothing. <laughs> and so maybe it's just my time. But there has been nothing that I can't overcome, nothing I can't fix. And so I, you know, I just questioned whether I should put this video out or not. And I thought, no, you... I have to because I, you know, I don't want to only portray the great side and everything's perfect because it's, it's not, it's not always perfect, but I promise you all these companies that I've used, I've used before until so maybe you have trouble sometimes and other times it, it works out perfectly, but I'm going to, I'm going to continue on ordering my customs and doing these things. It doesn't discourage me at all. And so I don't want it to discourage you either. Okay. So with that, back back to the video, you guys, I promise you, it's great. It's it's great. It's like the, the drills are what got crushed here. And look at this. With me, with all my pink, you are not going to believe this. There shouldn't be any pink in here. It's hard to see. It's wrapped up tight. You know what you can see, though? Look at this huge bag of 310. Yep, I knew that was coming. Here's the toolkit. They have a nice toolkit. I'm just going to open it. I know I showed it on the last one, but just in case you didn't see the last one, because I think this is a nice toolkit. This is from Evershine. It's a round. These are the first customs I've ordered from them. I did an Evershine round and an Evershine square from Stock Images. And I really loved their round, so I was interested in ordering the customs from them. So look, four placer with the squishy and the clear pen. Look, oh, the nice tweed. These are really, well, there's two kinds of tweezers that I like. These and then the bent silver ones. These are like dangerous weapons. But they're good. And then a white boat. I always like the white boats. The green boats are good. But sometimes they can be a little bit small when you're doing, especially this one. This is a 60 by 60. Two squares of wax and a 10 placer. So 10 placers are good for these. I might be able to use the 10 placer on this one. I just finished uh, the Evershine square and I did not have luck with the, with the multi placer because it was light colored. And that's just a bad move. Okay, let me put these off to the side and we'll get into the diamond painting. We'll say goodbye to this box now finally so the first diamond painting I did in this series oh look this is shrink wrapped they don't just wrap it up this is shrink wrapped um, the first diamond painting I did in this series of creating custom artwork showcased the website Wikimedia Commons and making alterations with PowerPoint if you have PowerPoint this 
video, this diamond painting is going to showcase a free app that you can put onto your phone to put text onto your photos to, you know, elevate your own photographs to artwork. So it's, I am so excited about this. So this is my own photograph. There's a little pity. You know what? I've had some success with just, oh no. Scraping off the tape, but we'll ever so gently and with a lot of care. There we go. It worked. Right, so there's lots of different reasons why you would want to put your own text onto a photograph. One, you can control the size of the text and the font so that it won't be pixelated, right? You can put sayings and quotes and words on there that are meaningful to you. I mean, sometimes you find the stock what, stock images that are great, but um, I mean, we all have our favorite sayings and quotes. And then here's an idea. How about putting onto a diamond painting a quote or saying that is specific to someone that you love or friend, you know, or your child, wouldn't that be great? Look at this back. Have you seen this as I've been talking? <gasps> it's beautiful, right? This is so nice. They put it on a foam roller, as you can see. Sometimes, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna let my foam roller go issues go. This looks like, how many strips are on here? This is double-sided adhesive. Can you see this? It's not even. I thought there was only two. But there's, here's the seam for one. It's this tiny, tiny amount here. And then the bigger. This is great. Whoops. Okay, I got my tape, my handy tape measure. So we'll see. If this is indeed a 60 by 60, what was the last one? The last one I measured, which one was that? Oh, it was the one, the first of these customs. And it came up slightly short, but 39 and 3 quarters to 40 is not too bad. So what is this? Nope, we're on 60 by 60. Dead on. I'm so excited. So if you watch all the way to the end, I have some other um, examples and maybe some inspiration of photos where I've added text um, to create your own artwork. Um, I'll put the timestamp in the description below if you're anxious to get to that part. You can always fast forward to that. Oh, look at what I'm about to do. Do you see what I just started? Stop. Just stop. When you find yourself doing something wrong, stop doing it. That was cut so nice. That might fray a bit, but look at, this is why it's cut. Look at how much excess is on here. It's because it's a custom, right? So nice. Okay, how many colors? 45. 45 colors. That's kind of crazy for what this image is. I wasn't... I wasn't that hopeful for 45 colors. Let me show you the key. So Evershine doesn't send an inventory sheet. Their key is on the side of their um, diamond painting. How many 310? 10,000. But isn't that nice? With the symbol, the DMC, and how many you need. And there we go. Okay, let's start opening it. Ooh, it lays down nice and flat, doesn't it? Look at how nicely it's laid down already. Do I sound overly excited? I am overly excited. Okay, as we pull this up, let me tell you about the app. So the app is called Pixel Lab. And I'll put up the image for you here so you know which one to pick up. And I'm going to start up at the top. Oh, no, it's one, two, three, 
four, five, six. You guys, it's six pieces of adhesive. Oh man, what is it with me lately and all the adhesive strips? Actually, you know what? For the size that that is, this is actually pretty good. I actually don't think I'm even going to have to section this. I'm going to use it in these sections. Okay. See, there's always a silver lining. Always a silver lining. Oh, except if I can't get it. There we go. Okay. So the app is Pixelab. And it's a free app. Of course, like all apps, it does have things that you can purchase in there. But I've never need. Well, I'm just not going to purchase, so... I've never needed to. And um, you load in your photograph or image or whatever. And it has a lot of different fonts available, which I really love. This is beautiful up here so far. This canvas is great. Well, I'll take off one more strip and then I'll show you the um, drill field before I get too much of this opened up. Here we go. Oh, it's just lovely. So it goes like this. Oh. Can you see? How's it turning out for you? Maybe I can turn it. Well, when you know what? When I get it all the way open. I will give you an overhead shot. How's that? Oh, let's look at the drill field as I said before. I pull too much. This is, whoops, this is difficult. It's so clear. Isn't that great? So clear. Oof. I just have not had to deal with a diamond thing this big in a while. I've been buying smaller diamond things. Okay, let's keep going. Right, so you can alter the size of the image, you can crop it. There's a lot of things that you can do with this app if you take a look. And if you're at all interested, I can do a short tutorial video on it. Um, just to get you started, you just let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in um, a video like that because that's more of you know of an app tutorial and not so much a diamond painting video but if you'd be interested I would be more than willing to put together a video like that for you so that you could see how to use it at least to get started so now here's where the text comes in can you see See it? Oh, we got a bit of a glare. Let me see if I can. Ooh, I can't let it go. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if I can get the light turned off. Hold on. Okay, I turned off the light. And we still have a bit of a glare, but you can see where the lettering is coming in here. I'll give you an overshot view. So what this image is, it's sunset. Um on a lake and it's look at all these strips <laughs> oh my goodness it's sunset on a lake let me move you oh okay let's move you this way we're all gonna go for a gentle easy ride there you go can you see it now it says sweet dreams. So this is my photograph and I will put it up for you here. That's the photograph. And then here's the image. Once I put it through, I put it into the pixel lab app and added the, added the text. And here, let me go down. You can see in this suite, I did a video about pixelated lettering. You can see here in the S, all those different colors. I might take those out and in the E's and just leave it with that lightest color, that check mark, which I bet, yeah, it's 3865. 
but the dreams seems to be pretty solid. Yeah, pretty solid. So right, so all I'll correct is just those X's, unless it's a very light color too. We'll have to look through the drills and see. Now, the proof that I received, I can put the proof up for you here, was a 50 by 50. I started out with a 40 by 40, they gave, and then a 50 by 50 because it, the image was too pixelated. And even at a 50 by 50, as you can see the line in the water, it, um, let me put you back down. Hold on. We're going to move. Okay. These, this line in the water where it's fading was too stark in the 50 by 50. And so I asked them for a 60 by 60. I didn't even ask them for a proof because I wasn't going to get the 50 by 50 and there's no way I want this image in a 70 by 70. So 60 by 60 it is. I have no hope. I just really don't have much hope of getting this stuff. I'm a little hopeless right now. <laughs> okay, I just went and took a deep breath before I did this because really this looks daunting. I don't think I've ever had this much, this many strips for this size. As I said, when I when I get it down and I go to work on it, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be great, but, oh, getting this back down again. Okay, you know what? Let's speed it up because at double time or quadruple time, this will be funny. In real time, it's boring. <laughs> Okay, come on now that wasn't so bad that wasn't so bad let me show you the thumbnail now I know I've showed you the image already but look at this wonderful thumbnail that they put on here for you it's not nice so pretty okay let's take a look at the drills I'm gonna turn on the overhead light for the drills back with the light okay let's check out anybody remember what the number was Oh, 45 45 and then this one was um i don't know if you saw the other video the beautiful photo beautiful diamond painting i tried to count i, I couldn't count i can't count whatever and um this was in with hers so i'll be interested to see here if i have 45 or in fact just how in the world would it get out of here Watch, wait until you see how deep this thing is. So, I don't think it could have escaped. 30, 60 by 60. Okay. So, oh, I haven't had this much 310 since my Miller. Look at that. 12,000 they gave me. How many did I say was needed? It says 10,000 on the canvas, so 12,000. I'll take it, that's nice. So you get rid of all the, look at all these peaches. I do love peaches just as good as pink in my book. And look at all, oh, for the sunset. And how are these drills? As I said, my round Evershine turned out beautifully. Yes. See how smooth the backs are? Oh, look at this pale yellow. Look at those. Isn't that beautiful? This is um, 3078. Who knew? Maybe you did. There are some gurus out there. This is 823. Oh, pretty blue. Oh, I see some dimples on those. But even not, oh, is it? Yeah, there are a couple. It's fine, though. Oh, 
just this color. I don't even know what you want to call this color. Like cement with some character. Oh. Okay, let's count them up. What did I say? 45. Does that look like 45? And where was that one? I know it was seven. No, maybe I don't know that. <laughs> was it? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Ready to give a count? We'll start with, you know, one. Okay, I can't count, right? But there's 43 out of 45. So now I have to go down and do an inventory of it, you guys. Okay, let's pull up the diamond painting and let's see what we've got. Four numbers. And then there's this one. So there's 43. I didn't count this one. This is empty. Okay. So I'll speed you up again. Hold on. So this is number two at 154, but there is a number two here. It's um, this one, 159, and there is 154 in this one, but it's one. So that's just a random bag that put, was put in there. What's missing is 361, and here's the extreme bummer, is 939. Because for 939, as you can guess in this image, it's 4,000 of them. Oh. So, oh, I'm really, that is just, oh. You guys, I am just not having the best time showing you. <laughs> My whole five art series about customs. This is supposed to be a super positive five part series and okay I'm gonna look through my I'm gonna look through mine and see my um spares and see if I have that I don't okay hold on okay so a long, a long time has passed I think it's been an hour um I just needed to take a moment for myself but I went through my spares so for 939 I have about 800 but I need 4,600, so, right, not even, not even close. For 3861, I only need 1,300. But whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm going to come up short. So what you can do if this happens to you, you go back to the AliExpress website, you go to the shop, you contact the seller, you can give them your order number, and you say, right, um, number 939, you shorted me by 4,600, and, you know, then you lay it out and they can send it to you. The problem is diamond paintings, for me right now, the problem is diamond paintings are taking three months to get here. So a bag like this, I can't even imagine how long that's going to take to get here. So the alternative, which is what I took, if you'll remember, I opened these up oh, just a couple of diamond paintings ago. This beautiful package. Now this is on Etsy. There's a couple places on Etsy, but this is the one I choose. Stacer Products, and she sells drills. And if you remember, she sells AB too, so that's what I had opened from her, these beautiful round AB drills. So I went onto her shop on Etsy. I ordered up some 939, some 3861, and they'll be here in three to four business days. And I just move on with my project, right? Just move on with my project. Okay, now I want to show you, let's get back to the custom part of this, which is what I want this to be about. I just want to show you a couple of images. So the first one here is of a um, beautiful flower, right? And I put the word green on the bottom, just like a green, it's green, but living green, all those kinds of connotations, just as an idea for you. Um, I just love that with those lettering. All of these letterings are from that Pixel Lab. I put all of these into the Pixel Lab. Um, the next one is uh, this one with the birds and soar. 
I just love the way this image turned out. Very inspirational. And then I have this one, which is just cutesy. And this is something that my son said to me, said to my husband and I when he was really little. He said, you know, I have, you guys are the best parents I ever had. And <laughs> we just thought it was so cute. We've remembered it all this time. So that's just another idea of, um, you know, just m m making things special, custom for you, um, and creating our own art. I've said before, some of us with our um, crafting budgets would either through desire or through circumstance want to keep our budget small. And this app is another way. This is a free app. Put your own photos in there. And look, you've created your own inspirational artwork that is meaningful to you. And it's just beautiful. So I know we've had our problems here. I understand that. <laughs> But if you have, let me put the image up for you again. Just remember how beautiful this is going to be. So this is already, I mean, not that anybody gives them credit for this now, <laughs> that they've gypped me. But um, these are all bagged up. These are really nice baggies. These are all bagged up. This is ready to go. You don't have to kit this up. You can just start diamond painting. If you come across a 939 or a 3861, you know, just skip that for a later moment. Actually, look. I have these. I'm going to get started. I can use these until my others come, but honestly, that uh, Stazer products, it's it's going to be here before I even need them, so no worries there. Okay, <laughs> stay with me, please. <laughs> Don't leave me. I promise you, these are... These are great ways to create your own artwork, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. <laughs> You guys have a really great day. I It's early now, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere for me, I tell you. Bye-bye. <laughs>